Are you being told the truth about plastic bags? We all know we have to minimize and one day eliminate all of the plastic bags, and I think we can all agree on that. No, we don't all agree that we have to eliminate plastic bags. The London Times said in an editorial, Many of those who have demonized plastic bags have enlisted scientific study to their cause. By exaggerating a grain of truth into a larger falsehood, they spread misinformation and abuse the trust of their unwitting audiences. And David Lace of the Federal Marine Mammal Commission has said, in their eagerness to make their case, some of the environmental groups make up claims that are really not supportable. Plastic bags pose a huge environmental threat to our marine environment, 100,000 marine deaths per year due to plastic bags. <laughs> This figure is based on a misinterpretation of a 1987 Canadian study, which found that between 1981 and 1984, more than 100,000 marine mammals, including birds, were killed by discarded fishing nets. The Canadian study did not mention plastic bags. Regardless, the erroneous claim has become the keystone of a widening campaign to demonize plastic bags. We have a global environmental crisis. Uh, you've heard the numbers on a million seabirds, 100,000 marine mammals annually. David Santillo, Greenpeace marine biologist, has said, It's very unlikely that many animals are killed by plastic bags. The evidence shows just the opposite. And David Laced of the Federal Marine Mammal Commission has said, The impact of bags on whales, dolphins, porpoises, and seals ranges from nil for most species to very minor for perhaps a few species. For birds, plastic bags are not a problem either. There are plastic patches now in our oceans, which are twice the size of Texas. The idea of a single Texas-sized garbage patch is the myth of media sensationalism. Dr. Marcus Erickson, ocean explorer and director of project development at the Algalita Marine Research Foundation. The garbage patch is a veritable plastic oasis where millions of tons of plastic garbage remain trapped by the currents. It is said to be twice the size of Texas. Look at the video image carefully. Heal the Bay shows a giant plastic bag about the size of the entire United States, with small plastic bags behind it. They are suggesting that there's a giant island of plastic bags. But the National Science Foundation sponsored an expedition to the Pacific Ocean to search for marine debris. Most of the plastic items and particles collected were hard plastic. No large accumulations of plastic bags were found. Even Heal the Bay now admits that this claim is misleading. I would agree that the characterization, um, the term, the garbage patch, is um, you know, misleading in some, in some respects. There isn't a landfill out in the middle of the ocean. But Heal the Bay continues to make other unsupportable claims about plastic in the ocean. One of the researchers that you know, has done a lot of work in this area, um, he, he said, you know, it's sort of like a soup of plastic. Um, or think of, you know, a football field that has um, degraded plastic confetti that's, you know, spread across it. Is it like a football field with plastic confetti spread across it? Angelique White, assistant professor of oceanography at Oregon State University and National Science Foundation Pacific Expedition member has said, If we were to filter the surface area of the ocean equivalent to a football field in waters having the highest concentration of plastic ever recorded, the amount of plastic recovered would not even extend to the one-inch line. And Karen Lavender, oceanographer at the Sea Education Association, has said, If scientists sifted through 2,000 bathtubs worth of plastic-contaminated seawater, they'd find just enough microparticles to fill the palm of a person's hand. You know, my daughter uh, did a science project uh, about uh, six months ago, and she, remind, she told me there's this thing called the Great Pacific uh, Patch. <laughs> Unfortunately, misinformed politicians are banning plastic bags based on myths. We realize how significant of a problem plastic bags are on the litter stream. It represents approximately 20% of the litter stream. Los Angeles has not done a litter audit. However, litter audits have been done in other places, showing that plastic retail bags are only about half of 1% of litter. The state of California alone, Caltrans and other entities, state beaches, pay over $25 million a year just to clean up the litter associated with plastic bags. Public agencies in California spend $375 million each year for all litter prevention, cleanup, and disposal. 
About half of 1% of all litter is plastic retail bags. Half of 1% of 375 million is 1.9 million, not 25 million. That means it costs each person no more than five cents each year for all plastic bag cleanup throughout the state. There's about $16 million or so a year spent on uh, litter removal, and it, it's, I think, safe to assume, wouldn't it be, Enrique, that five or six million, maybe more of that, could be attributable to plastic bags directly. Half of 1% of $16 million is $80,000, not five or six million dollars. $80,000 is just two cents for each LA City resident per year. Think how much it would mean to this city to have an extra $5 million that we don't have to spend cleaning up bags. In fact, not one penny of litter cleanup cost is saved by eliminating plastic bags. The same streets, highways, and other areas still have to be cleared of all other types of litter. So, are you being told the truth about plastic bags? Obviously not.